Hello YouTube, this is my replication of the magnetic inverter. So it's uh, something that I came across. So you have uh, two, set, two large magnets in the center and on the outside you have smaller magnets. And here's two uh, large magnets together. And see what happens when you bring, bring them closer. See, the uh, smaller magnets get attracted to the other magnet, but, b magnets but they uh, are pushed away by the outside magnets and they get stuck fr from the cluster and there's an air gap between them Let's see see it doesn't want to get any closer it doesn't want to get any further away either so this is rather curious is this how uh, gravity really works? I wonder and I'll give you some um, I'll give you some uh, information about how I built this okay so here we go this is uh, what, this is my early 3d print of the construct so I used uh, six 5 16 uh, uh, diameter magnets by quarter inch cylinders and I used four one inch by one eighth inch discs so and that's the that's the tough view you can see see south poles on the outside north in the center and uh, this is the other magnets south, south pole so they're attracting two large magnets are attracting but they're repelled by the outside magnets so this is the side view and uh, this is what didn't work so uh, you uh, you have to make sure make sure you get um, magnets that are small enough because like this this construct doesn't work because the magnets in the perimeter are too large so you you won't achieve the effect so um, I found that rather curious as you can see it doesn't, it doesn't want to get any closer and it doesn't want to get any further almost like a magnetic tractor beam so there's there's truly almost no limits to these things you can do with magnets. Yeah, I'll continue investigating.